Did you say not being happy is not a reason to leave a I don't think not being happy. Yeah, I don't think that's a reason so, to leave a marriage. So you should remain unhappy to keep the marriage together. Well, I believe that, you know, we're responsible for <clears throat> our happiness. And I believe that some people are just going to, like, they deal with... So let me just say this. I don't believe that our emotions should be the driving force for the decisions that we make, right? We use our emotions to navigate through life. So you could... You, emotions... There are ebbs and flows of them. So you can be not happy this year and very happy next year, right? And I think also, um, if we really take into consideration the entire spectrum of happiness, uh, we will understand that our happiness is our responsibility. Um, the love that yeah. we feel, even when we're with somebody, you know how you look into your man's eyes, you're like, I love you so much. That's not love that he's necessarily giving you. That's love that's coming from within you. That's an emotion that's within you that you are extending to that person. It's the same thing with happiness. It comes from within. So... Um, though there are many factors to consider um, as to why a person is not happy, again, if it is outside of physical abuse, mental abuse, where you're being tore down, verbally abused, right? Um, if it's just because you're not happy um, and you have a good man, you have a reliable a man and you have a faithful man that is not a reason to leave a marriage you probably if you are not in control of your emotions you and 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 a lot of people before they even go to these situations they know that they deal with depression and all of these things right we're not introspective enough but if you're expecting somebody else to be the sole basis of your happiness don't get married but yeah being happy is not a reason to leave a marriage 